All right, guys, Kazoo Seventy One back on my playthrough for beginners on Scorched Earth. Now, last week I teamed some Erythroplura, and this week I want to show you guys what I'm doing. And uh, I couldn't name this video the wrong way to tame a rock elemental, doing a bad job at taming a rock elemental, screwing up taming a rock elemental, all kind of ways to name this thing. But you know, bottom line is I found a 121, so I'm going to go ahead and tame it, and I'll put it in this video. You guys seen an earlier one on this playthrough that we tamed a 151, so this is a 120. It was really close to the base, so I decided, hey, let's get a second one. That way we can use them both to harvest wood and rock and all that stuff, because we need a lot of stuff to harvest. So I was leading this guy back to the trap. Um, as I said, this is, this is just a... Uh, man, I messed up a lot on this one, so I'll show you guys. Now, my partner's playing with me, too. There's a lot of things that uh, I have never done in ARC, and there are a lot of things that she's never done in ARC. So, taming one of these is one of the things she has not done yet. So, uh, I showed her how we did the last one, and this one I'm kind of leading another one back. And going to have her shoot a couple of times on this one to kind of get a feel for how it works. But, uh, these things, basically, you have to hit them. So, you know, if you've never tamed one of these before, you can watch my previous episode. Um, I got a trap. The trap I made is from Captain Fat Dog. If you guys know him, he does a lot of videos on uh, these simple traps that work really well. Now, unfortunately, at this time, uh, the trap, I forgot to fix it. It's got a part of it that's kind of messed up. Or he's going to break it. I can't remember if this one breaks it or not. But anyhow, you have to hit them right in the head. And I just did uh, another video on my uh, Primal Fear server. I hadn't posted it yet, but I was just doing it. There are fabled rock elementals or rock golems on the Primal Fear mod. That suckers take about 150 cannons, cannonballs to knock out. It's insane. Anyhow, if you hit them right in the head, you're going to do 450 damage. If you hit them anywhere else, it's going to do 1,800 damage. And you don't want to do 1,800 damage because num for two reasons. Number one, you could kill it if you hit it enough like that. And number two, you're not going to knock it out. It gets no torpidity when you hit it anywhere other than the head. So I had the awesome spyglass on my other mod. I was playing with this, messing around with it, trying to see how it works. No torpidity at all. So unless you hit it directly in the head... And you see that 450 number, you get nothing, so it doesn't count. So you gotta you gotta adjust your cannon. Now sometimes these guys move, so even though you have your cannon set correctly, like mine is set right in the middle right now, and he hit us with a rock. Oh, be, oh well, and that's because part of the the thing is missing. I'm missing the two pipes, the water pipes, and the other thing. But you see, I hit 450 there. So that does 450 damage, that's all it is, and he's got torpidity. And if I had the awesome spyglass on this mod, you would see that there's some torpidity in his, in him already. So that's twice I hit him there. And you just gotta watch him. Now I'm watching him through the HUD here, and I can see when his head is in the right spot, so I can just shoot him. He's got a certain amount of attacks. Um, he'll, he'll swing with his arm like he's doing a side swipe, and then he'll pound the ground. He also does this spin thing. And then when he spins, he'll come back around and hit the ground, and his head will pop up. And then right after that, he'll do a slam thing or a swipe thing, one or the other. So the best way to do it is to, uh, to me, this is my opinion, okay? So this is to make sure he's in the right spot. You let him do that little swing thing, and then he'll come back around where his head's in the right place. And then he'll slam the ground or he'll swipe, and then his head will be in the right place. So as soon as he does that slam the ground thing before he's all the way up you fire that cannon by the time that ball hits him it's going to hit him right in the head so that's what i found out with this uh fabled one i was messing around with it's just a timing thing and you can do it now you can see his head is off to the right a little bit right now so a little bit to the right now you can see my partner is firing the cannon and she hit it 450 just now she hit it twice See, spin thing, hit the ground, right there's a good spot to hit him right there. Um, it's just a timing thing, so there you go, 450, hit him again. And you can see when he gets hit in the head, he kind of like cringes back a little bit, and that's when he's getting some torpidity applied. And that time, um, I don't know if she fired too soon, too late, or if it moved a little bit. I think it's moved a little bit. It's facing a little bit to the right, it looks like. So this is just a matter of hitting it when his head kind of 
goes back um, or you need to adjust the cannon and at this point I didn't adjust the cannon and that's why she's missed three times is because the cannon is not in the right spot and there we go I think that's the third time she missed or the but anyway 1800 damage all that does is damage it and then um, it does not help so it does not apply any torpidity like I said so it's losing health it's losing um, it's not gaining any torpidity when you hit it in the wrong spot so the two two numbers to watch for like I said 450 and then 1800 I've tamed multiples of these so I don't know if there's other numbers guys than 450 and 1800 um, because every time I've tamed them the headshot is 450 the body shot is 1800 so there could be other numbers who damage. One time I shot the thing and I had adjusted the cannon wrong and I saw like 3,000 something damage and I'm like, what the heck is that? And I had shot my um, my trap. So <laughs> I almost destroyed the trap in one shot too because uh, I, I did destroy it in a second shot. So that's why I knew it was a trap. So <laughs> you gotta make sure you don't hit them in the wrong spot. So at this point, as you can see in that little chat, I left the chat in there, but she's a... Uh, She's saying, hey, you, you do it now, I'll watch, because uh, she's always concerned that she messes up, which I don't really care if we mess up, because I mess up just as much as she does. Well, this is how part of the game is, man. We're not experts at this game. So, but anyway, as she said, she reiterated right there. Um, and nope, I'm watching, so okay, so I'm going to try it again. But I'm going to show you guys that the cannon at this current spot is not pointing at its head. It moved to the right a little bit, so I need to adjust the cannon to the right. Because as you can see, that should have been a headshot, but it was a body shot. I hit it above the head. So as you can see, anybody can tell by looking at this that the cannon is not pointed right at its head. Because the rocket elemental has turned a little bit to the left. My right, his left. Three body shots in a row. She did three body shots in a row. That six 1800 damage to this guy in a row, that is not good. So um, I'm going to go make some more bullets again. This is be the second time I go make more bullets. Now I'm fast forwarding in those parts too. Um, what I'm doing is I'm cooking some char some charcoal in the industrial grill. That's what's taking me so long. Um, I put a hundred plus wood cooking or 200 plus wood cooking because I'm trying to get some more bullets and I just skipped all that part. So I got to go back. I'm waiting for it to cook. So there's two more bad shots in a row. And at this point, she's telling me she thinks its head's turned a little bit. And it just hit my cannon. Okay, so we're going to adjust the cannon a little bit. Let's just move it a little bit to the right. Let's go to the right one. And let's try this and see if it works. And there's a 450 shot. So she was 100% correct. It turned to the right of us, or it's left a little bit. There's two 450 shots in a row. Get them again. And that time I just shot at the wrong time. And again at the wrong time. I get a little anxious sometimes to just fire it off. I gotta wait. You gotta you gotta time it out. So just flash forward and again here. Fast forward, flash forward, whatever you wanna call it. Just gotta wait for the, the like I said, I'm waiting for the charcoal to cook so I can make more bullets. And got three more this time. Cannonballs, not bullets. And that time it went down. It only needed one more hit. We're good to go. So we have this rock elemental knockdown finally. Let me get rid of this Argentavis that is buzzing me that's very similar colors to the one I'm on uh, it's not doing a lot of damage so it can't be that high of a level of course I'm only doing 145 damage trying to see what level it is ah, it's kinda hard to see moving so much not very good at that but that's okay it's not a super high level so we'll go ahead and knock them out kill them and then we're going to get this rock elemental tamed. Now the reason I call them a rock golem is because I've heard that said many times. And if you're using Dino Storage version 2, when you soul ball it, it calls it a rock golem. And there's also many other places that reference them as a rock golem. Actually the code for them I think is rock golem. So um, even though they call them a rock elemental, I don't know why they say that. They should just call them a rock golem. Anyhow, let's go ahead and put some... I have the extraordinary kibble this time, so it's going to go a lot quicker than that, just the sulfur from the from killing the wyverns. 
So I'm just going to flash forward here, guys. You guys don't want to watch me do a bunch of other stuff. All I did was I was doing stuff around the base, building some more stuff. And then right here, I'm looking at what I needed to repair that cannon because I need to repair it. So I made a saddle, too. Um, this is a second rock golem saddle. And as you can see, my partner was closer, so it was following her. So I'm just going to take it off and follow real quick. And I'm just going to test it out real quick. And I'll show you guys if you never watched before. These guys are phenomenal at collecting wood. But unfortunately, what I'm going to do is come over here and hit these rocks and not wood. So um, next episode, I'll show you guys a little bit of this wood collection we do. And I'll show you guys what this does. But I don't want to bore you guys with all that. That time, I just wanted to show you guys what happens when you're shooting a rock, a golem in the wrong spot. So uh, come on, dude. You can't even move. You're still weighted down. Excellent collectors here, but you got to work on their weight because they don't carry weight well. But like I said, next episode I'll show you guys a little clip of us collecting stuff and how we do it together and how fast it works. It's pretty cool. I'm just going to get this guy parked in here. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Short episode here on this Scorched Earth one. Just this rock elemental was really close to the base, so I want to go ahead and tame it. So we have a second one. And um, it's a 120 that I tamed. The first one was a 150. I think it was 150. It might have been a 130. I can't remember. I have to go back and watch the video. Anyhow, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. I know this is a playthrough for beginners. I also have a full playthrough on the island. And I'm working through this one. My plan is to work through all the maps as a playthrough for beginners. That way you guys can see them in order how you're supposed to do them. Um, but I'm also doing all these. I also do a lot of how-to videos and short videos on other maps. Like Fjordor, I did a bunch when it came out on. When Genesis 2 comes out, I'll of course get on that one and post a bunch of videos. And try to compete with these other more popular YouTubers that have advanced access to the game. And already have all their videos recorded. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, please like, please subscribe. And if you guys got any comments, please make them. Um, all comments are appreciated, even the rude ones. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.